Hi, I'm Karina Johnston Ailiff, consultant at the Clementine Churchill Hospital in Harrow. Today, I'll be sharing answers to some of your most asked questions about having a hysteroscopy. I've performed in excess of a thousand of these in my career, and I'm highly experienced when it comes to this procedure and its recovery period. So you can count on me to give you the information you need about this surgery. What is a hysteroscopy? Starting with the basics, a hysteroscopy is a procedure to look inside your womb using a narrow telescope with a light and camera attached to the end of it. This is called a hysteroscope. The hysteroscope is passed into your womb through your vagina and cervix, which is the entrance to your womb. This means no cuts need to be made into your skin during the process. The hysteroscope is connected to a monitor which displays images of the inside of your womb, so I can watch your womb in real time while performing the surgery. A hysteroscopy is an effective way of examining and diagnosing a range of gynaecological issues, including abnormal bleeding, heavy periods, fibroids, and endometrial cancer. In some cases, we can also treat these issues during the hysteroscopy. But why might you need one? You might have been advised to have a hysteroscopy and feel unsure about what your consultant is looking for, although they will have most likely explained this to you. There are many reasons why you might be recommended to have this procedure. The commonest reason is to investigate heavy periods. They may suspect that you have a uterine polyp, which is an overgrowth of the lining of the womb, which is often picked up during a scan. These are not usually dangerous, but are removed if they are found, as they can sometimes cause painful or heavy periods, or can stop you from getting pregnant. They may also suspect you have uterine fibroids. Many women develop one or more uterine fibroids during their reproductive lifespan. Uterine fibroids can lead to heaviness and pressure across your pelvic area. If they aren't treated, they can grow and your symptoms can get much worse. Sometimes these fibroids grow inside the cavity of the womb, which is the area you bleed from, and therefore they can cause very heavy bleeding. These can usually be removed at the time of the hysteroscopy, unless they are very large. Intrauterine adhesions are areas of scar tissue that form between the inner walls of your uterus, causing them to stick together in a way that can cause various problems like pain or difficulty in conceiving. Adhesions can happen as a result of injury or trauma, for example during pregnancy or from previous surgery. These can be found during a hysteroscopy. A hysteroscopy can also be performed to exclude endometrial cancer, which is more common in older women. Symptoms include prolonged episodes of bleeding or bleeding after the menopause. The good thing about endometrial cancer is that it usually presents very early and is very treatable with surgery. What can you do to prepare for surgery? The main action to take to prepare for any surgery is to be mindful of your general health. In preparation for a hysteroscopy, you might need to have your bloods taken to check your general health before the procedure and whether or not you are pregnant. You cannot have a hysteroscopy if you are pregnant. Ideally, you should not be bleeding at the time of the procedure, as this will affect the views of the inside of the womb. The procedure may be timed accordingly to avoid your period, or you may be given some medication to try to stop or reduce any bleeding. Usually, if you have very light bleeding, the procedure can still go ahead. You might also be advised to stop smoking, if applicable, during the lead up to having the procedure. We will provide medical advice about how to be as healthy as possible ahead of the procedure. So what happens during the procedure? This procedure is usually offered under general anaesthetic and is done as a day case procedure so that you go home on the same day. Once you're asleep, you'll be placed on a bed and your legs are put up. A speculum is inserted into the vagina and the hysteroscope is passed up through the cervix to look directly inside the womb. Fluid is used to open up the inside of the womb to have a clear view inside. Photographs may be taken of the inside of the womb, including any fibroids or polyps that may have been found. Based on these findings, your surgeon will likely proceed with what they feel is necessary. If there are any polyps or fibroids, these may be removed. Fibroids are usually shaved away using a heated loop, and this can take some time, or may require a second completion surgery if they are very large. A biopsy may be taken, and an intrauterine system or hormone releasing coil may be inserted if you have previously agreed to this. These coils are often used to help with heavy or irregular periods and also act as contraception. How long does it take? A hysteroscopy usually takes between 5 and 30 minutes depending on your reason for having it. How long does it take to recover from surgery? You might feel tired and a little groggy as you recover after a general anaesthetic. 
You'll be monitored by your nurse until you are fully awake and able to eat, drink and use the toilet. Do not drink alcohol or drive for at least 24 hours after the procedure, as you may still be drowsy from the general anaesthetic. For a few days after the procedure, you may feel some pain and discomfort that is similar to period pain, but this can be eased with traditional painkillers such as paracetamol or ibuprofen. You might also experience some spotting and bleeding. This is nothing to worry about and should gradually reduce, but you should use sanitary towels rather than tampons to avoid getting an infection. Most women recover and return to their usual activities within 24 hours after the procedure, but some need a few days off work to rest and recover. We will make sure you have all of the information you need at your appointments, so you'll know exactly what to expect during your recovery period. You can arrange a follow-up appointment with your doctor at any time if you have any concerns while you're recovering at home. We hope this video provides you with the information you need to feel prepared for surgery. If you have any more questions, feel free to leave them in the comments section below. If you would like to arrange a consultation with me or the nearest consultant in your area to discuss the procedure in even more detail, you can book an appointment at circlehealthgroup.co.uk.